Hey, welcome back to the garage. So today, we have a, a really awesome experiment. Well, I mean, we know that it should work, but we'll, we'll see if it's successful or not. So what I have here are some things that were thrown out at work. Um, essentially, this was on a giant uh, horizontal cutting uh, chop, bandsaw, chop saw thing, and uh, some of the teeth got broken off uh, and are smaller than others. Let's see if we can get you focus on me there we go so if you notice right here that that looks uh, more like a full tooth than over here which is much smaller so some of these are broken this is a uh, made for cutting metal it is a Lennox RX plus I'm not sure we'll, we'll have to do some research on that but it, apparently uh, I think it said made in the US of an A which is awesome we're all patriotic here aren't we so what I was thinking is these things are expensive, and I want to cut some of this uh, steel tubing down here in the corner at some point here for a project. So, with that in mind, we are going to go ahead and see if we can't join these together. We're going to weld it together, and then uh, grind it flush, and see if we can put it in this and cut some metal. The bandsaw comes with a, uh, a cutter that we can use to uh, trim up these ends make them look a little better and we'll try to try to get in the middle of the teeth when we do this all right we want to fail fast on this because we don't want to put a lot of time into it if it's not going to work so as we go about welding and doing this we want to be cognizant of which way the teeth need to be facing and turning so this thing naturally wants to bend this way and uh, we're going to want it to bend that way because we want the teeth to come down and take a bite out of our piece of metal. So it's going to be opposite of what we, of the way that it was on the other machine. We're, uh, we're bringing out the four, the three foot level. Oh no, four foot! Ha <laughs> ha! Four foot level, nice and flat, hopefully, and straight. Uh, we've clamped our two ends together here. Okay, so we got our flux core MIG welder up and running, and so now we're going to give this a little tack. I'm going to turn off the camera because I don't know if this is going to ruin it. Be back. Flexibility test. Start bending. It's definitely, it definitely, it, yeah. It definitely does not bend as much as the rest of it. You can see there it's flat because uh, it does appear that she is not as uh, elastic as she once was. She's, uh, we've heated it up and hardened it a little bit but it does appear to be holding under the bend test and this is a much tighter radius than my 16 inch radius wheel so I think this is gonna work let's try it let's do another one probably need one or two more slices and we'll be good to go We're down to the wire, and we need about 14, 13 and a half. It's probably some slack in the system, so yeah. All right, so 13 and a half more inches, and we can join this up. So let's cut a section 13 and a half long. 
Now I know what some of you who are in the know think, are thinking, and that is, well, there's a spot weld function built in right here. Well, that's true. Uh, problem is, I'm running on a VFD. Ah! So, I don't have 223 phase or what have you going to this. Uh, so, I can't place it in there and, you know, clamp her in and hit the, hit the button and zap it because I'm running on a VFD. 13 and a half. Right at that rust spot right there. That'll work. Uh, oh. Yeah. All right, well, didn't take that into account. Um, huh? yeah, yeah, probably not. All right, um, nibble? We're going to have to get it close. We'll get it close, and then we'll cut it with that. Get it close. So it occurs to me, this is not all that different from, like, uh, chick cows drinking cow milk or something. I'm actually kind of surprised I cut it, to be honest. Alright. Do some last bit of welding. The other camera died, but uh, here we go. Alright, so we got her tensioned up. She's spinning. Other than there's a lot of noise. <laughs> uh, this is going to fly apart. Alright, all of our guards are adjusted. And they're tight. And not binding. We're tensioned up to one inch width. Um, manufacturer says that this only takes a 5 8 inch wide blade and this is a uh, is probably an inch oh, heck I haven't even checked <sighs> one inch all right so this is a one inch metal cutting blade we're gonna cut some metal well actually we're gonna see if it explodes first all right let's put her into drive there we go all right so we're in low and the drive is set to 375 uh, meters per minute, or 30 meters per minute, 375 feet per minute. All right. And let's close this so we don't get uh, bandsaw blade to the teeth. And where's my uh, safety? Where's my chicken face shield? Ah, here we are. Chicken face shield. Yeah. All right, let's start the jet engine. Oh, I'm a little frightened on this one. All right, here goes. Oh, we faulted. Right away. Why'd you do that? Fault four. Oh, we tripped out the... Ah, God. I swear, this GFCI plug will be the death of me. Every time I have the CNC on... And I take I put I turn on the VFD, it trips. It is annoying to no end. Here we go. Alright, power on. That's good. Uh face shield down. Let's go.
know, for, for as ad hoc as that is, that's, that's not too bad. Actually, it's pretty bad. Well, let's, uh, chicken shield back on and, uh, need a piece of metal, some aluminium. Alright, so I think today was an unmatched success in the life of our shop. I think if we spend a little time with uh, sharpening these teeth with a Dremel, I think we'll be good to go. So all in all, this took exactly one hour and we saved this much money. And we've added capacity, and we learned that uh, this thing can do a one-inch blade just fine. So that opens up new possibilities for resawing wood. Uh, if we ever do buy a shop, uh, they usually another blade throw these things out because uh, when they get dull or start miss missing teeth, it's uh, it's bigger. It's more of a pain in the butt for them. So they just cut it up, throw it out, and you can go in uh, with a stick welder or MIG welder and a little bit of patience, maybe make a jig, and you got yourself an awesome little blade.